I suppose the two things I most want to teach my students are how to see and how to speak. Most of them have gotten tired by now of my quoting a line from the French poet Paul Valéry, which is also the title of a good book I read a few years ago. Seeing is forgetting the name of the thing one sees. I like to challenge them when they're looking at ancient Christianity or ancient empires to stop using the words that they use most naturally. If we didn't know it was Christianity, what might we call it? What would we think it was? What would we think these people were doing? Pushing questions like that lets students see things fresh for the first time. And then making them say it, making them write it, making them write it as clearly and concisely and persuasively as possible, is a way of testing what seeing they've been doing and of making them go back and look to see again what they only glanced at before. I still remember from that freshman year in college the speech the dean gave when we were in our first week of freshman orientation about how whatever provinces we had come from, now was the moment we were coming out into a wider world. We all thought we lived in remote and obscure provinces in those days, and for me, the desert southwest sure felt that way. I now know it was probably a much more interesting place than I ever suspected at the time. But that was a moment for me to discover just how rich and various and complicated the whole world is, both in space but also in time. And for me, it's worked out to be complexity in time that's fascinating. We know so much about the past, we can know so much more about the past, and it can throw so much light on the way we think about ourselves, our present, present societies, and our future, uh, that it's an inexhaustible source of interest for me and has been since the first college courses I took and even before.